Hi, Sarah Banis here, Spectrum Weavers. I'm going to show you today how to use a program called Procreate um, on an iPad to hand draw your own mandalas. Don't be intimidated. It's super easy. Anyone can do this. If you can doodle, you can make your own mandala. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, Procreate, you can get that in the um, Apple Store. Super, it's like $9.99. It's not expensive. And it's a great program to have. So I have my workspace up. You're going to want to first press right here. Press the, um, whatever you're going to call it, the wrench. Uh, click Drawing Guide on. Click Edit Drawing Guide. Symmetry. Uh, first you'll get this one, so you want to push Options. It'll give you a vertical. That's going to mirror it on either side. Horizontal mirror it this way to the top to the bottom. Quadrant, that'll mirror it this way. Uh, radial, this will mirror eight ways around. So you have two options here. You can either, uh, with the rotational symmetry, you can leave, oh, and one thing I should have mentioned, you're gonna wanna make sure that assisted drawing is on, okay? Now rotational symmetry, if you leave that off, oh, if you leave that off, what it's gonna do is it's gonna mirror it on either side of the line. If you turn it on, it's just gonna work it around, the pattern will go around I'll show you the two ways. So this is with it off. Click done, done. And see how it mirrors it. Now if I go back and I go and I turn it on and you can see how it does that instead, right? So I'm gonna wanna mirror mine. Options, rotational symmetry off, done, done. Now you can see the pen that I'm using is just a regular pen, right? So there's tons of brushes that you can get for Procreate. They're not expensive. You can even get them free a lot of times. Um, I'll link, I'll actually link some brushes in the description also. Um, but they're super easy to install. And there's just a ton of stuff that you can do with brushes on Procreate. I'll make a video on installing them to show you how, but I just want to use the basic one. Or you, I probably won't even link them in the description because you really don't need them for this. I, I'm using, this is the one that I'm using right here, Monoline, that came with Procreate. So, um, over here, this is your, so this will make it more, see how that's like, this is opaque. And this is less opaque. See that? So you want this all the way up. You want that solid. This is how thick your brush is. So I'm going to put it at 38. See how that works out. So now the first thing I'm going to show you is circles. So put your pencil down. Oops, not there actually. Don't put your pencil there. Put your pencil in between the two and draw a circle. And then stop when you get back to the starting spot. See how, and then hold it. See how it like made it a circle. It made it like round um, and not wonky like mine was. And then you can drag that out with your pencil still down. You can drag it out or in to make it the size that you want. Okay. Same thing with lines. So when I draw a line, my line is wonky, 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 right? And then I stop and I hold it. And just see how it snaps into place? So that that is how you make lines okay so, and this is just really it's doodling like i said that's all you do if you make a mistake you stop you delete it and you try something else it's not there's nothing difficult or stressful about this it's just fun, relaxing way to make your own designs. Now I'm going to link in the description. So that, I don't like that. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I'm going to link in the description two videos that I made. One is how to take your mandala when it's done and turn it into a shape. You can take any silhouette and turn it into um, a mandala uh, with, that on, or with the mandala on it rather. Super neat. Um, I'll link that in the description, but also how to add text to your mandalas. That's really neat. Um, take 
this and kind of that's not right I'm not getting the shape that I want out of it it's hard because I'm at a weird angle so it's kind of difficult to get what I want to do here And you can see, so you can drag this. Once you've made something, you can drag it and make something completely different, often not even something that, you know, was what you were expecting. So that, I mean, that part of it is kind of fun. That almost looks like like a tulip. I kind of like that. I don't like how that's not centered. I'm going to get rid of that. So before I go any further, let me show you something else that you can do here that, um, so let me make a shape. I will make a circle up here, okay? And then let me fill in this shape. And then what you can do is you can use so you can take your color changer Change it to white, and then, oops, what was that, 38? I think that was 38. You always want to make sure that you know what your baseline is, because you want to keep that the same pretty much throughout your design. But I want to turn this up to see how I turned it to white. Move that up. And now you can kind of add things like this in, right? I'm going to leave that like that because I don't have enough room to really add too much more. I'm going to turn this back down to 38. Oops. I don't know why it's not giving me the... It's so strange it's not giving me the number, but I think 38 is right about there. Let's see. What have I done wrong here? Whatever I did, I fixed it. A big part of this is just having a steady hand and not uh, second-guessing yourself. So you saw a couple of times there where I touched down and picked up and touched down again. You don't want to do that. Once you touch down, just draw. So don't, don't second-guess yourself. The worst thing that can happen is you have to draw it again. I want 
shape. I feel like this line is just a little bit thick. Maybe it was just because I was drawing on the line there. And just to be clear, these do not have to be perfect. And then, so as you're working on it, it just kind of comes to life, um, you know, and there's no, there's no right or wrong to it. So, um, oh, and that's another thing. So if you want to zoom in on an area and work on a specific area, you can do that. Two fingers, pinch out. get it kind of get it turned here I thought that would be cute but I don't love it Let's try it again. I'm going to try this from the center out. I don't think I'm going to like that either. Yeah. yeah, I don't like that either. Third time's the charm. Maybe if I turn it down a little bit. I might like that one. Yep, that looks pretty neat. And what I'm going to do actually is I am going to take this and I'm going to kind of take it in just a little tiny bit and I'm going to give it more of a... That's better. And I'm going to 
times back up to 38. Oh, you know what? Because that one wasn't 38. That's going to be too thick for that. That's okay. Do this. Thank goodness for the back button. Good, bad. That's okay. I used to be a stained glass artist a super long time ago. This would be super neat if I had known how to do this back then. I could have built my own. I mean, I did build my own patterns, but I could have done more with building my own patterns. I don't like that. You know, I'm gonna do something with this. And I love like super, super, super intricate weaving patterns. So the more intricate I can make this design, the better. But, and, and do you see how it all kind of, I don't know, there's something about how when it all starts to kind of come together and becomes an actual design, you know, instead of just lines. It's going to turn out good, that one. Let's see. Yeah, I don't like that. Not one little bit. It's kind of neat to just zoom in on an area and then not look at the whole picture. Just look at the one area that you're working on and do something with that area and then, you know, zoom back out and see if you like it or not. Let's work a little bit more on the middle here.
I don't want to ruin what I've already done though. That's a part of this is knowing when it's done, knowing when you've taken it too far um, and when, you know, when the design is done. So you can see I'm gonna clean up this area a little bit. Oops. What I should do is I should just go back in. I want to make it just a little bit more. Oops. Just want to make it more clean. Perfect. Oh, I don't know how I accidentally got these little dots here. That's not good. And the problem is when, when you get something like that, I can't go back now because I've I've already right, I've already moved on and done other stuff. So without erasing everything else that I've done up to this point. So sometimes when you do something like this, so I could go through and I could um, either erase it and hope that I don't mess that line up, or I could take white, you know. Let me, let me do that. Let me try to get rid of it because I really don't want that there. But if not, oops, if not, I can always just try to work around it. Yeah. Ta-da! That worked out way better than I expected. I'm gonna kind of round this out and then I'm gonna let it let it go um, and be done with it just so you know just so you guys understand how to do this now right so um, that was the whole point of the video I don't know maybe some of you want to stick around and see the end of it I'll cut this in the next couple of days and I'll show you what it looks like cut I'll find a cool holographic to cut it in or maybe glitter. So, and I don't like how I took out part of that on accident. That is not working at all how I want it to. Let's try it like that. It's not going to work either. That's okay. Sometimes things don't work because they weren't meant to work, right? So let's just go ahead and do something else. So that was not what I wanted. That was what I wanted. Actually, that looks terrible. I do not like that. I want this to. I want this to end up very round. Let's see if I can make a. So I'm gonna make a. No, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to make this too complex, the video too complex. I was just going to do is I was going to make a guide, but I don't want the video to, I want this to be a super beginner.
Okay, so that's that is how I want it. I am going to, this is kind of driving me a little bit nuts that it's not even in here, so I'm going to let's see if that looks any better. Eh, I don't hate it. You can see that I'm just trying to make these all um, kind of evenly spaced. I don't know. I mean, that's, that part's not terrible, but I don't, I'm not in love with it. If, if I had, if I were just doing this on my own time, I would probably just um, fill that in and rework that area, but that's okay. It's fine.
So, I mean, I think that's about it, though. I think that's... I might... I just fill in these real quick. Not sure about that. Maybe. it all the way around but I don't like that at all so this is what I'm gonna to do to kind of finish this off so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take and I'm gonna try to round it out so I'm gonna take from oops. I am gonna take from right here I mean, it, it, that part didn't turn out great, but you can see how it kind of gives it a more round shape. Um, but I mean, that's all there is to it, really. So uh, for everybody who stuck with me through this whole thing, um, I'm going to let you go now. Um, but, you know, like I said, like the video if you enjoy this, you know, learning new new design techniques. Um subscribe you'll get the notifications of the new videos when they come out um and uh that's about it i'll link an ipad good ipad good eye pencil in the uh description and i hope you have a good day join us on facebook